In Ethiopia, a 40-foot gap in a centuries-old stone bridge forces Highlanders to cross the dangerous gorge on a single rope. A stunning photograph of this human struggle to cross the Blue Nile, featured in the National Geographic magazine, inspired Ken Franz and some family members to travel to Ethiopia to survey and assess the bridge for repair. They found a strong people, courageous and spirited, who more than 60 years before had chipped away at the ancient bridge by hand to create a barrier to the invading Italian army. Now, they were ready to work for the bridge's repair. Bridges to Prosperity forged a partnership with the villages on both sides of the river and returned the following year to work towards a dream come true. Village men and leaders alike came together to carry rock and mix concrete for the bridge. Hundreds volunteered and thousands came to watch, bringing gifts of eggs and livestock. Priests bestowed blessings on the bridge and on the volunteers. The Nile Gorge resounded with rejoicing. This old man was heard to say, now I can die in peace. The repair of this broken bridge, the Sabara Dildi, and the impact the experience of the repair had on both the community and the volunteers began what became a life mission for Bridges to Prosperity founder Ken France, providing safe access to education, health care, and trade for the millions of isolated peoples around the world. Become a supporter of Bridges to Prosperity today and discover the hope and rewards a simple footbridge can bring. Help bring the world together, one bridge at a time.